friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I know it's been a long time, but I'm happy to be here and sharing with you a few pieces of knowledge that I hope that helps you because I think of uh, the things that would help me in the past. So hopefully that you find this inspirational and that it guides you maybe a little bit on your art journey. So one of the first things that I had to let go um, and you should too now is just perfectionism. And I think a lot of artists or creative people feel this way because if something isn't perfect, you feel like it's not worth it or, well, maybe not a lot of people, but that's how I felt it and it had to be as perfect as it could be. It was a very lame excuse, to be completely honest, because you cannot expect all of your work to be perfect or as perfect as it can be when you are still learning, when you don't have a lot of knowledge because you are a student, you don't have a teacher that can teach you those things, etc. Or to self-sabotage yourself, it's just not gonna work and it doesn't help you at all. So the sooner you put it aside <laughs> and you accept that you're gonna make a lot of mistakes, the better. Something that I had to relearn and to master, as you would say, is um, discipline over motivation or inspiration. And this is just to set yourself um, a routine. It doesn't have to be, I wake up at five in the morning and I paint until, until dawn. Not like that, but more instead of being guided by your own emotions, painting when you don't want to paint, <laughs> when you don't feel like painting. And in, in that time that you may not feel as inspired as you would be in others, you can choose to paint some things that maybe doesn't require full attention, some things that are easier to paint, for example. I think when I was younger, I, I used to think, oh, well, I'm not inspired to paint, so I can't paint right now. I'm so sorry because I'm going to paint something crappy. And yeah, that, that lasted for a little bit, but after a while, you can't rely on those things, obviously, because this is our job as artists. We cannot expect to always be as you say, inspired. I realize, I think it's because of the habit, I'm constantly inspired by painting on its own. Obviously, sometimes I struggle more than others to paint different things, but not as before. And I think this also comes with practicing a lot, like practicing, practicing, practicing. <laughs> and when I mean practicing, I mean painting the same thing over and over again, and trying it again, and wiping it out, and painting it again, and and yes, of course, it is. it feels discouraging sometimes, but I promise if you push through, if every time you make the mistake and you realize what you're doing wrong and uh, you stop, you take a look, you compare it to other artists that you admire, that helps you a lot. At least it did to me, but I think it will help to you as well. I used to paint a lot of things that weren't mine, as in um, fun art, fan art, which I love. I love painting Arwen or the Lord of the Rings. I love the things and I will always love to do that. But paint the things that you love, paint the things that are around you, that you see every day, paint your family, paint your friends, paint your lover, um, things that, it, that fill your heart. And when I started to paint more from life, even when some roses that I would sit up here, or when I started to paint my family or my childhood friends, it just makes a huge, huge difference. <laughs> it makes a difference because the viewer can tell when you're passionate about something. I believe this wholeheartedly, that it shows through the painting. And this ties on to the next um, advice you would say. Have faith in what you're painting. And this, this doesn't apply to a religion or one specific religion at all, but simply when you paint um, from the heart and when you paint something that is honest, it shows and it does tell a story and that's why we are moved by art take it as however you you choose to take it this advice um, but simply just be true to yourself i suppose don't try not to fall too much into the trends of what is being done especially today with social media and such i i see it of course i'm also a consumer of those things I see how easy it is to fall into certain trends, even in the in the art world. So keep painting what 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 fulfills you, because if you start going down the road of trying to please certain people, 
you will end up miserable and unhappy. And then last but not least, for God's sake, <laughs> do not compare your journey to others. I know, I know, it's, it's uh, something that I think we do all. I would compare it to other people or other artists that I would see and how how their skill was just amazing and they were younger than me or they were my same age. It is just so pointless because we're all different people with unique stories and unique um, journeys and it just doesn't, it doesn't do anything because I don't wish to be anyone else but me and you should feel the same way too and your journey is just unique as you are, as your art is and as the stories that you have to tell. I hope that this was helpful and I hope that it inspires you to keep painting or drawing or in whatever skill that you want to keep developing. But um, I wish you a very happy painting and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.